We got some like fun, rapid questions for you. Okay. Sure. Um, so you just kind of give us like your input on them. Um, when you putt, do you putt with a line on the ball or do you just kind of just set it and go? I've tried both and I haven't come to any conclusion. Uh, I think for me, like the stroke is probably way more important than, than the line right now. So mm -hmm. I don't mind either way. And my ADHD forgets to line the ball probably half the time. So <laughs> me too, brother. I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there so with it's you. Like, oh, this this time around I've got it going and I'm not putting well. And then the next time I forget and I plug well. So it's like, well, probably doesn't matter, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> I literally tell myself the exact same shit. <laughs> What's a, a TV or movie character that you most relate to? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I've i watched a show called Burn Notice. And okay. the character yeah. is Michael Weston. And he's like that analytical spy that likes to think about everything and every little bit of every situation. So uh, that'd be that'd be who, I, who I'd relate to the nice. most, probably. That, that's not a, a very great well answer. known character, but <laughs> no, it's perfect. Burn Notice is such an underrated show. It's so good. One of my favorites. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, are you glad a... to hear you know you know it you know who? It oh is. hell yeah! <laughs> I there was a point in time where I was watching Burn Notice, Suits. Um, I was a huge like Law and Order fan too. So like, dude, I watched all of those all the time, all the time. I wish I could be Harvey in suits, but I don't. I don't quite <laughs> pretend to be that kind of individual. So I wish I had his poker playing skills because oh, I'd be sure. rich. It'd be great, you know. Uh, are, are you a blade his car collection? Yeah, his car collection too. <laughs> are you a blade or mallet putter guy? Uh, just a regular putter. So I guess that's a blade, the Tiger yeah. style putter. Yeah. Um, yeah. To yeah. be fair, like the the first golf set that I got, I bought it new at a golf store here in town. And it was mm -hmm. like a set, like a tailor-made set, the M2s. Mm -hmm. And I went to the guy and I was like, hey, there is no putter in your set. And he's like, no, you got to buy it. I was like, what kind of marketing is that? Like you're selling <laughs> right. a set and it doesn't come with a putter. So he was like, let me go see in the back of the store really quick. And he just pulled out like an old ping answer from the from the trash okay. bin I guess, yeah. in the back. And it had an old <laughs> super stroke on it. So that's that's what I started with, a free putter from the back of the warehouse. And then last summer, I just moved to a $3, $3 like thrift store putter. Um, so <laughs> I don't awesome. have much invested in my in my putters, both both blades. The second one's a little bit heavier. It's got a better sight line on it, too. So I don't even know the name of it. I think it's like a Northwestern Tom Weisskopf putter or something that nobody knows anything about. So. <laughs> It's unique though. You know. yeah. So yeah, Goodbye. yeah, it's been. I haven't seen any difference from the first putter. So I'm like, well, <laughs> do I really need to invest in a putter? So I was like, nah. When I hey. uh, got the stroke better, then then maybe I can think about <laughs> investing in one. But for now, it's just exactly the regular simple simple blade that comes from from trash bins, either at the thrift trash. store or <laughs> from the warehouse, from the golf store. That's awesome. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Do you have a go-to golf ball, like a brand or a model that you, you like to use that at least you might feel like you play better with? Absolutely not. I just buy whatever's no. on sale and whatever is the cheapest that's got maybe compression written on the box, then mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm happy with it and I just go along with it. Yeah. I bought a big supply of the Wilson 50-50 ball last yeah. summer. Um, it was cheap and it was a good good mix between a compression ball and maybe a slower swing speed ball. So I figured that'd be a good mm -hmm. hybrid for, for the summer. Um, I think my swing speed has gone up a little bit. So I, maybe I'll have to think a little bit more about what kind of balls I, I do play. Um, I played the TP five X at the end of last summer. Cause I found like a few, I was following a guy on the golf course and I kept uh, finding his balls. So I guess it wasn't a good day for him. <laughs> he gave me a few, a few of his TP fives. So I, I did play them after afterwards, and it was it was quite the difference. Once I I could get my hands on them, I was like, oh, that's a nice feel, especially landing landing. Oops, sorry, landing them on the green. Um, yeah, I could, I could feel the difference. But when I was hitting off the tee or off the off the fairway, I couldn't couldn't really tell. But on the green, that's when. I could tell that they would land a, a little bit. Yeah, different. I think once you start, once you start realizing that your irons and your wedges are actually compressing the ball, that's when it's like you start mm -hmm. to really feel the difference a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it's like before I I always used to think I knew the difference, mm -hmm. but it, 
now it, it's really i mean the driver and woods it's like you can't really feel it but with the wedges for sure it's like you kind of almost feel it gripping a little bit and uh yeah and i having still those, lose those softers. way too many balls to justify like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. or five dollars a ball like that's that's just right. i always I'm right there with you i always get just the pre-owned they, there's that lostgolfballs.com and it's like you get those four or five dollar golf balls for like a buck buck fifty mm -hmm. and they're like still in great shape and then you get that similar feel still of using the same ball mm -hmm. you know i'll get like a hundred of them and it's like I don't know, 70, 80 bucks, but it's Dude, there's there's a place that's around us too that I, I went out. I remember a couple of times last season. I they they're like refurbished golf balls, or they're just like golf ball like that they, you know, clean up or whatever. But there was one that had it's like eight or nine bucks for like fourteen balls, I think it is. And they were all Titleist ones. And like I was like, Oh, all right, cool. I'll just take these <laughs> and use them. And I I like those ones, but I also really um when we were talking to um um our buddy in PA, I mean, he was talking about the uh, uh, the noodles. I kind of, I might try those out too. So yeah, the the ball industry is crazy. There are so many options, and like you said, like you can just go on the used market, and I think that's that's probably the way to go. Like you're gonna lose them anyway, so might as well <laughs> might as well yeah. find them somewhere in the cycle where you're not the one paying five bucks, and you're probably better off like that. You're not yeah. wrong. You're not wrong. Um, so last one here. If you weren't golfing, what else would you be doing with your life? That's a good question. I'm trying to figure this out right now this winter because I'm not golfing. So <laughs> I guess a lot of working for now. Like like I said, I'm transitioning away from, from teaching. I'm working as a sports and leisure director at a golf community uh, or at a local community center. Um, so I'm trying to bring golf into their activities over there, trying to convince them that they need some hitting bays at their community center. So I'm, I'm working on that. But yeah, other than that, I like, uh, I like walking, but mostly in the summer. I don't, I don't do well in the winter outside. Um, I like to swim, surprisingly. People are surprised when I say that. <laughs> like, oh, that guy, can, that, that guy can swim. I was like, yep, yes, you can I still do, swim. I do swim. I float, I float pretty well. <laughs> so I like swimming. And, and if I could have it, I think traveling would probably be a big part of my, of my life. I'd love, I'd love a job in the golf industry where I live somewhere south um somewhere warmer than i'm right now and i'd love to mm -hmm. have a traveling aspect to it so that that would probably be what would encompass my life if uh if golf wasn't around what's one goal you have for yourself in your golf game this coming season i think it'll be to play as much as i can because with the new job i'll be i'll be quite busy and i'm trying mm -hmm. to turn my finances around a little bit so I, I stretch my money thin transitioning from teaching to a new job so just yeah. figuring out how I can golf as much as I can um, will be the big goal. And then I kind of want to get a little bit more serious with my with my weight loss. Um, I did well last year and I, I lost a bunch of weight and I've been maintaining that weight more than, than losing in the last few months, which is a big, big win, better mm -hmm. than, than playing the the yo-yo game all the time. So yeah, yeah. I, I really want to really want to focus on that and just get get healthier and keep losing the weight and. And then if I could shoot like under 85 at a legit golf course, that would be, that would probably be the more specific, you know, number goal that I'd like to, to achieve that feel, that feel nice. Like a nice 84, 85 that. Yeah. That would be oh, yeah. Happy. Awesome. Yeah. Well, oh, thanks man. a bunch, Sam, for taking the time and, uh, yeah. you know, we we'll look forward to having you on again sometime. We got to meet up at some point too. I know we talked about somewhere up here in the Northeast of the U S or, uh, to get a, to get a round in. Hopefully this summer. Yeah, that'd be fun. And I'm always happy to do anything involving golf with you guys. So pleasure being on. Thanks for, for having the French Canadian on. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. hopefully you guys were able to understand me. Sorry if I mispronounce a few words. But my my last name's actually French Canadian as well. So it's 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 uh, it's Carpentier, but it's Carpentier. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So there you <laughs> go. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Real quick too, where can everybody kind of find you on socials and I uh, just fat to fit golf on Instagram. That's pr pretty much the only one that I've got going. It's cool. it hasn't been very active in the last last few months, but I'm always happy to chat in the DMs and and talk with people. And maybe this summer I'll I'll resume if I figure out what I do want to do with with that account. Awesome, absolutely, man. Thanks for being on with us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it for sure. Thanks to you guys. Yeah, <laughs> right, we'll talk to Take you soon. Care.
Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.